Oh, hey there. Didn't see you there. Actually, I did. This video is scripted. Dang it! You can tell when I'm easily out of ideas. You see, I talk about Battle Royale games. I give up. Battle Royale games are some of the most popular games ever. Kids have been all over these games for years now. And Battle Royale games have been increasingly rising in popularity ever since Z1. Apparently Z1's not very good, but I mean, I've never really played it, so... But I decided to talk about Battle Royale games anyways, as they're such a huge part of gaming nowadays. It's everywhere! You can't escape it! But anyways, I would say Minecraft is where the idea for Battle Royales came into play. You see, there was a Battle Royale version of Minecraft, which sort of acted as players are given tools, you try and survive. It's, it's the same concept. This was dubbed Minecraft Hunger Games, later renamed to Minecraft Survival Games. But this was only the start of Battle Royale games. Little did we know, this concept would resurface in 2018. Yeah, you know what it is. I decided to try out Fortnite. Oh, come on! No, no, you don't do that to me! Alright, guys, now get this. I don't hate Fortnite. Well, why are you booing me? I'm right! Now, granted, it's not a great game, but this is incredibly far from the worst game I've ever played. But it doesn't really matter, because most people will just go, Fortnite is bad. No! And personally, I don't feel like that's really giving the game a fair chance. If you really want to hate on it, Play the game and form your own opinion. I feel like you shouldn't just hate on a game because everybody else is doing it. The reason Fortnite has such a big community is mainly because of how easy to pick up it is. It's not overwhelming, it's pretty simple. However, just like every Battle Royale game I've listed here, I'm gonna have some problems with this one. And look, I don't know if it's just me, but every time you get a Victory Royale, it doesn't really feel like an accomplishment to me. This round you're seeing here is my first time playing, and for somehow, somehow, I was able to get a victory royale. I was able to get a victory royale on my first time playing. And you would think my reaction is, oh yeah, let's go boys. But I was like, that's all there is to it? This didn't feel like an accomplishment. This felt like I just lucked out. Which to be honest, maybe the reason why kids are so fond of this game. Well, Fortnite's not the worst game I've ever seen in my entire life. That goes to big rigs over the road racing. Now, Apex Legends launched in early 2019, and to be honest, I really like this game. Apex Legends takes the concept of battle royales and sort of flips it on its head with different modes, different ways of playing, and different abilities with each legend. And dying in this game will make any sane person become mental. I mean, look at Landon, he is struggling to be normal. Look at him, he's dying right now. Let's go help him by subscribing. And okay, for a second, can we just appreciate these maps, man? These things are gorgeous and they're filled with little tiny nooks crannies and cool little spots now like always the game isn't perfect and i am terrible at it but it's a lot of fun there are problems in this game for instance i feel like the battle pass and trying to get your first legends feel really really grindy at points man and yeah there are slowdown points but i still think it's good not everybody is going to love apex but i do recommend most of you give it a shot because it is a very enjoyable game now for the last Battle Royale we'll be talking about today is Call of Duty Wars now. Now I don't personally own the game, know the file size is way too big, and I'm not sacrificing that much storage to play a game I will ultimately delete, but I do know some people who have, and I have played it at a friend's house. And in my experience, I have one major problem with this game that ruins it for me. That this game does not take skill, it takes patience. Hey everybody, Call of Duty Warzone just came out and today I'm going to teach you how to win. Step 1, land. Step 2, grab a gun. Step 3, wait in the same spot over and over and every time you see an enemy, shoot at him. And it's just boring. You just wait around forever and ever and it just does not end. And since everybody has figured out this technique, guess what that means? Yes, that is right. That means everybody camps, the games never end, you can respawn your teammates if you like, and you just... <sighs> and this is really a player issue here that ruins the game. It's like, yeah, Warzone isn't perfect on its own. It definitely just feels like a walking simulator with a gun in your hand. And the servers are utter crap sometimes. But besides that, it's like a 5 out of 10 if I was doing a rating system. With this system, it's not fun. It's not even remotely fun. 
And yeah, I think that covers all the things I wanted to talk about in this video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and staying through the end. Really appreciate you. Godspeed. Um, hope that you have a great day and take care. Hey guys, a bit of an announcement here. I'm sorry about uh, the lack of uploads recently in the past month or so. Um, I've been trying to finish Middle School Act 3 as I really don't want to be here anymore. Please help me for the love of God. But, um, yeah, so sorry for the lack of uploads. Um, appreciate you guys waiting it out, though. And, uh, yeah, that's all I really have to say. Bye!